got up here. There's one more. This one's very important. It's called the carotid. The carotid artery. Okay? The carotid artery runs between your windpipe, your trachea, and your muscle that goes right here, your sternocleidal muscle. So it's right in between here. Everybody take your two fingers, put it between those two things. So when your windpipe right here, your muscle, you can see mine right here, there's a little notch in between next to your jaw. You feel a pulse? Okay, that's your carotid artery. So that's where you're gonna feel for a pulse. Um, do you guys understand when I say pulse? No. That means that's the blood pumping through your arteries from your heart. Mm -hmm. So if you have a pulse, that means your heart's pumping. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a pulse, it means your heart's not pumping. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm checking for. When you see, does she have a pulse? She doesn't have a pulse. So me checking for the breathing and for the pulse should take no longer than 10 seconds because I want to get her the help that she needs as soon as possible. Because remember, if you don't have oxygen for three to four minutes, you die. And so if she's already been lying here for 10 minutes, that's really bad. I need to get her heart pumping again. So I'm gonna move her arms. What you're gonna do, you find, you find the armpits, okay? Come across to the middle of the chest. I take my bottom hand, you can do it either way. I'm left-handed, so mine's gonna go on top. But if you're right-handed, it might be more comfortable to do this. You take the bottom hand, put it out like this. Take this hand, interlace the fingers, and you take the heel of this hand, put it in the middle of her chest, and you keep your arm, don't do it like this, keep your arms straight. I'm gonna use the weight of my body to press down. So, if I'm doing it on here, like that. See how much I'm going down? So the chest, when you're doing compressions like that, should go down at least five centimeters. So it's quite a lot. And when you're doing it, it's often very common to crack some ribs. That's normal for this. <laughs> and crack some ribs. Because your ribs here are protecting your heart. God made it like that, so it protects your heart. But we need to get to the heart to get it pumping again, okay? So, in this, it's, you know, it's not the best, but we want them to be alive. So, do we want them to be alive and do with broken ribs afterwards? Or not do it hard enough and they're not going to come back to life? Okay? So, it's important that you do it very hard and deep. So, at least five centimeters, okay? The chest should fall at least five centimeters with each compression. So, okay? the ribs get to be cracked. No, not all the time. Not all the time, but it is common for them to interact. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Because it's supposed to be that hard. Because you are effectively pumping the heart. Because the heart is right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay? So, I checked to see if she's breathing. I checked her pulse. I find her armpits come across to the middle of the chest, interlace my fingers, place the heel of my hand here, and I do one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So actually it's faster than that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. So you do thirty compressions. These are called compressions. And then you do what's called mouth to mouth. Um, and basically, I'm effectively breathing for her, okay? So what I do is I come over, I lift her chin to open her airway, okay? I plug her nose, I open her mouth, and I'm going to put my lips here and I'm going to give her breaths, okay? Because she needs oxygen, she hasn't been breathing for herself, so I have to breathe for her. So I give her two breaths. Chest rise. Again. So her chest, it's hard because it's not a mannequin, but her chest should be rising. That's how you know that the breath actually went in. So breathe so I can see the chest rise. 
Yeah, see how it rises? That, that's what should be happening when you're breathing in for her. It should look like a normal breath. Okay? So I do that twice. And then I start compressions again. And I do another 30 compressions. And then I do two breaths again. And I do another 30 compressions. And you basically do that until you either see color returning to them. You see them wake up. She gasps and takes a breath. You feel that she actually has a pulse now. Um, or something else can happen. I'll try to explain that in a second. But that is the basics of CPR. I am pumping her heart for her and giving her air, okay? So it's important to do the compressions deep enough so that it actually gets to her heart. So at least five centimeters, okay? And each compression, you want to push down let go, the chest, re the chest comes back to its normal position, do it again. So when I'm doing this, one, the chest should come back up, two, three, four. Because you want the chest to come up all the way. Because you don't want the heart, you're pushing on the heart, and you want it to expand again. Okay? We don't want to do it where you're like doing this the whole time and the heart's not expanding, because then it's not actually pumping. So when you're doing it, you want to press down, let the chest come back up again. Can you guys see this end of the mattress? This is actually great. So you press down, see how it goes down? Mm -hmm. Comes back up, down, and back up. So you, yeah. So a good rate is at least 100 per minute, 100 compressions per minute. So it should be fast and hard, mm -hmm. so that the heart is actually pumping. Okay. Um, so, in this scenario, when you're doing this, I come up, I see if she's breathing, she's not breathing, she doesn't have a pulse. I need to yell to someone to get help. We need an ambulance to come, we need more medical professionals, okay? And when you tell someone that you need help, you want to be very direct. Because in a group of people like this, if I say, somebody get help, <laughs> all of you are going to think, oh, the other person's going to get help. Mm -hmm. So I need to say, if I know your names, Caleb. Go get someone. Call, call 992. Mm -hmm. Yeah, call 992. Or if you don't know their name, if they're all strangers, you in the blue shirt, you mm -hmm. go call. You go get help. Yeah. You need to be very direct. Otherwise, in a group this size, everybody's going to stare at each other like, oh, I thought you were going. You're going. You waste, <laughs> you waste um, very valuable time mm -hmm. that you can be used helping to save her. Okay? I'm sure. Yeah. Um, it's great that you all get to learn this because. Um, in a scenario like this, if you're around someone who starts the, C the procedure, you can walk up and say, I know how to do CPR, can I help you? Mm -hmm. It's very tiring doing this, very tiring. You get tired out in two minutes doing it <laughs> because you're putting your full force into it mm -hmm. and you saw it, five centimeters deep, mm -hmm. that's a lot of force. Yeah. That's why the ribs can be like, it's so strong that you can crack the ribs. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of force you have to put in. So you get tired very easily. So the best scenario is having at least two people because one of them can be doing the compressions, the yeah. other one can be ready to give the breaths, mm -hmm. and then after several cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths, you can switch. Mm -hmm. The other person's not tired out, and so you can switch back and forth, back and forth until help comes. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes you end up doing CPR for about 40 minutes or an hour, yeah. depending on how long. Depending on how long they come, you don't want to give up on the person if there's a chance that you can save their life. Because every time you're doing that, you're circulating their blood for them. Three, four minutes go by, their blood's not circulating, they could be dead. You don't know how long they were sitting here. You don't know how long Romain was sitting on the grass and needed help. So you want to help them as long as possible. So it'd be very, very difficult. I don't think you could do it by yourself in 40 minutes. So if someone else can help you. That's the best scenario. Um, yeah. So let me run through it one more time so you guys can kind of see the process. So Romaine's here taking her nap. I think I'll be back. I walk up and say, hi, Romaine. How's it going? Romaine. Romaine. Hey, hey, are you okay? Romaine. Romaine. I don't see you breathing. I don't feel any breathing. Check her pulse. No pulse. Find a place, interlock my hands. One, two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Somebody get help. Josephine, I need you to go call 992, please. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58